now I can focus on him and we'll somebody's I like have reference us. photos if you want okay. to see. Yeah, let's see. Just like obviously for the up. top. Um I see my hair texture, I, I know that it's not uh, as curly as his. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if mine will get like that, but I know with the right product it will, but all I know is like I just want it like shaped. Like his like, is? Yeah. So it's just lightly trimmed and like having it textured and everything like that? Yeah. I can do that. And then just the top, just textured enough to where it's like textured and then kind of out of my face a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I got you. That I would be perfect. Well, I noticed that it's been like heavy on well, the left kinda, side. It's kind of like not. Yeah, that's why he has to shape the sides. Yeah, it's kind of going every direction which way. Yeah, that's why he has to shape there's no, it. There's no continuity to it. No, it's just grown out now. Yeah. I'm going to hook you up with the best service uh, on the board, which would be a scissor button. That's where I can hook you up or you can be leave. Right where he's coming at now, Grandma, that's where the shape really needs because... Mm -hmm. And then after I buy my two belt on Friday, then I'll buy... Then I'll buy good hair product. Wait, what are you going to... What are you getting? Belts? Two belts. <laughs> but what do you mean by belts? Uh, they're two decently expensive belts. But like a belt that you wear around your yeah. waist? Yeah. And what, what are these decently expensive belts? Show him. $150 each. Okay. And they're what are they? They're, uh, it's a brand called BB Simon. Okay. I sh I'll show you. It, they're nice. I like them. They get more expensive than just the base of 150 but I'm yeah. getting the plain ones because, in my opinion, they look better. Nice. The other ones are a little gaudy. That's okay. But the other ones are very out there. They're very noticeable. That's nice. I like, I, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. The only thing I need is I need, like, good shampoo. I have good shampoo now, but it's just to help with the breakage. So there's less breakage since I have thin hair. I got that from mom. She gave it to me. Yeah. And then I just need shampoo that fits my hairstyle, like my hair type to make it thicker. Did she give you the one from Ray? Possibly. 21 man made. Sometimes it's not so much as the shampoo, it's what you're putting on after you shampoo it. Oh, I need dry shampoo, and because dry shampoo helps with texture. Also makes it kind of weird. And I don't use hairspray because it has alcohol, so it... Well, you can get, you it, can get hairsprays that don't. Yeah. But I don't, uh, it depends. I just have to wait to see the different hair products. Because Grandma uses one that doesn't have alcohol in it. The other thing is a lot of hair sprays, if you don't get a fairly good one, it makes your hair look dull. Yeah. And he has good hair, watch you. He just needs to. Well, we were just talking hair. about that. <coughs> His mom has a lot of hair. And her dad had a lot of hair. And my grandmother had a lot of hair. <coughs> so, I mean, but his, his dad didn't have a whole, you know, was kind of thin headed. Oh, yeah. But he, he definitely has hair. Well, more if like you his see mom. him, like, as childhood pictures, he had a lot of hair, but he. He never grew it. He never grew it out, so he's just like thin. Yeah, he's and then, like it. as you saw in the beginning of the summer, it's just very like not there when it's short. But when he started balding, he went shorter. <laughs> a lot of men do that, or a lot of men that you know. Do you know that your uncle Bucky used to have kinky yeah. like curls? He told me. And then when he got into the military, he said, "No way." When they shaved his head, he's never gone back. Not. Now he has grandpa's balding, kind of like in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
but but look how young he is and your grandfather look how old he is i don't i never understand why grandpa's grandpa has thick hair though yeah, grandpa has probably one of the nicest hairs in the family yeah he but who had really nice hair was your mom's dad he was prematurely gray but he had lots of hair and he had beautiful hair you've seen pictures of him yeah oh he had beautiful hair and who are you, the grandmother? I'm, the gra I'm his grandmother. Yeah, you have nice hair. I can already yeah, he's, see uh, that is. He is my daughter's young son. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I was just telling you on the way over here, because, you know, sometimes it, the family resents it, resemblance is amazing. He has a cousin who is my sister's daughter's child, Zoe. Zoe, and they look like they should be brother and sister. They look so much alike. When they were younger, it was, they you would have thought they were maybe twins. Now we look pretty much, now we look different, but we can still pull off. Yeah, and we still look a lot alike. But, uh, and then me and Josh, we actually look way too similar. Yeah. Our hair are, is almost identical. He just doesn't wash his hair. Well, he's just Josh. <laughs> Josh and I look very, well, we, he comes from Auntie Don and I come from Dad. They look similar too. Yeah. If you put a wig on Dad, you couldn't tell if that was Auntie Don or not. Why did they both have like blonde hair? Or? Yeah, they look well, very dirt, similar. Like we call it dirty blonde when yeah. I was growing up, but. No, I, I know that's what like, we yeah. called it. They have the same nose, the mouth, yeah. eyes. I got my mom's nose. Yeah. Because Eden, you know Eden, right? The one with the long curly yeah. hair? Mm -hmm. He's kind of like, he's kind of like tripped out because me and mom have the exact same nose. Yep. And it's the only reason how you could tell that I'm not adopted in our household. <laughs> yeah, everybody else is dark headed except Devin. And, like, is Isabella still wearing a mask? I don't know. Sometimes. Some kids are, some is it optional? Or? Yeah, it's optional. Yeah, That's it's how optional. it should be. Yeah. It's like, hey, do you want to wear a mask? Pop it's a just mask been so long, I just keep it on. I just yeah. keep it under my nose with my top lip. But I've wore it for so long, it just seems right. And because of Nanny, some protection is still nice because of Nanny. Is in the house, so making sure everyone's safe. Yeah, well, Nanny's ninety years old, so we try and be, you know, careful. Even though all of us have been vaccinated, we still try and be careful, especially the kids, because they're subjected more. And sometimes you can't tell she's ninety because she moves around a lot. She doesn't look ninety. Well, she's still she, very successful. Yeah, she's amazing for ninety. But see, the wedding kind of wore her out. Yeah, she had a good time, but it wore her out. Yeah. Wait, so who got married? Her nephew got married, and uh, so she went, it was out of San Diego Casino. Oh, that's and I cool. Said to her, one of her nieces came and picked her up and took her out there, but it was a long day. It was started at like 3 o'clock, so she picked her up at 2.30, and it went on for a long time, and she was so excited. It was just amazing, but um, she gets tired. She gets tired, good, yeah. but... But she's, for 90 years old, she's amazing. She's only in a walker, which is surprising. Yeah. She's 90 and only in a walker. Yep. Which is odd. Hey, so when you when you came here, like, the first time or whatever, how did you know that I knew Isabella and everything? I didn't until recently. Since I haven't gotten a haircut in so long, I only knew yeah. for, I've only known for a couple weeks. Wait, and so how, and how did that happen again? Because I was just scrolling through Instagram, and since... You used to have to, before you had your website, Yeah. you know how you had to book appointments online? Yeah. Well, Isaiah's busy, especially because of his new position and grandma offered, so I was just going to make it myself this time. And then I was just going through Instagram, and then one of your posts popped up, and she was like, I know him. Wait, you had a phone at school? Yeah. 
they allow us the phones out. They're not that strict. Oh, okay. I got you. So you, had, so you were on Instagram and then... And yeah. Then, and, and then, then she just saw... Oh, she saw... Yeah, she saw the post. And she was like, oh, I used to work. I used to help at the shop. My mom knows him. Yeah, she, that's true. And then she said that she used to help over here. Like, sometimes she would help with the appointments and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and I see, and then it's, yeah, so that's crazy, guys, dude, yeah, and then it's, that's true, it's like everyone knows each other. That's what I told him. And then I know Samuel. I was, t I was kidding, Isaiah. Yeah, that's even more of a true. Yeah, I know. I was, I was kidding, Isaiah, you know, the, that bank robber that they caught. Who was uh, this? His name is Isaiah Martinez. He's, oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's 26. <laughs> they finally caught him. His name is Isaiah. Like, Thomas Bucket, yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, and then. Uh, this the past week when that car hit that school bus, he was dra racing a blue Mustang. Isaiah drives a blue Mustang. So oh I was my giving, gosh. I was giving him a bad time. I said, if you hadn't been working, we didn't know where you were. <laughs> I said, so they've been giving him a bad time at work. Well, because it's like you're giving his first name, his last name. It's like, wow, yeah. his actual description of you. Well, they had, yeah, they, I, they had a picture in the paper, so I cut it out and Gave it to him. And when we named him, we didn't we didn't think about it being. We were just looking for a biblical name. We didn't think about him being. And, so, and, and I'm gonna kill you all this. So, okay. where do you think you want your bangs to eventually hang when they're dry? Um, probably a little like bit right about, under the eyebrow. So maybe right about here. Yeah, because there's some. Cause, um, Cause remember how fast your hair grows? Basketball and stuff like that. Cause your hair grows fast. In a week, it'll be down another, you know. Yeah, that's a uh, well. Uh, yeah, we need to be mindful of that. Yeah, sure. cause your hair grows fast. Line? Yeah, I think Grandma's right for yeah, sure. About mid eyebrow. I don't want it a little bit above eyebrow. Maybe a little bit mid eyebrow. Especially with working now. And as fast as your hair guy, your hair grows Wait, with so fast. Working? Yeah, we're at the hours. Oh, yeah, that's damn. So, how did you get a job, Isaiah? Yeah, and a worker's permit. If I'm not 16 yet. Damn, that, that is insane, actually, that you're able to do that. It's like. Oh, that can. It's not. Much so, yeah, that's going to drop, and that's not going to be oh, yeah, all of these. Oh, yeah, and it's not cut yeah. straight across it, but it can no, fall into but, place. And then in a week, it's gonna your yeah. hair is gonna. But watch when it's dry too. That way, I wanted to see. I'm gonna put a certain, yeah. a different one that I never put on that. This one's to make it curlier, the diffuser, so you can have it. Your mom has a diffuser. And I'm still gonna detail around your neck and everything. Okay. Okay. I think you were right about the bangs. They had to be in a better store. They were going to still be too long. Yeah. Because in a week, they're going to be down. Absolutely. I just have to let it grow out again. Well, you can, but I mean, you also got to realize. Really good hair. We're leaving for California on the 19th. It's three weeks away. I don't know. And the last thing in the heat shows, you're going to watch your hair being too long. No. Because I'm still going to want it long. Oh, no, but it will be. In three weeks, it will be, you know. It's still long. This one will just last to where it will grow out. And yeah. you can wear it for a while, which is good. Yeah, this will be a lead box. Yeah, we're going to go out to California for a week. So, yeah. We're going to San Diego. Oh, wow. What are you guys going out there for? Well, we rented a house. And we're all going. Him, him his two other brothers... And his grandparents and his mom and dad, which we ran the house. And we're going to stay a week out there. We're going to leave on a Saturday in the 19th, come back to the 26th. We're going to enjoy the beach and go to Universal Studios up in LA. Oh, wow. And hopefully the San Diego Zoo. Anything wow. else they want to do. He's using the fuser. 
But see how I cut his hair in layers and yeah, textures like so it does that? Yeah. Watch, I'm not done yet. I have to add detail around his ears and everything. Well, last time I just had him even it out so it could just grow out without texture. Yeah. Because if, like if it just randomly grows out with texture, then the it's problem is the split ends. Absolutely. The split ends. I love and stuff. what you said. But now that it, the top will grow out again, it will probably Well, from what will happen is it's growing out, and I think you might like to keep it more texture. Absolutely. No, I've better. always liked it more textured. Because look at without product how it is like that. Yeah. It's already layered in texture form. Then you don't have to use a bunch of product. Exactly. That's I what don't I could use have product reduced. at all. When the other thing is, if you take your fingers and, and put your fingers in and do this after you dry it and just let it go like this, it'll it'll bounce up. I know. I I mess with my hair throughout the day. Even a mousse is a good option, just a yeah. cheaper mousse. A, like, a light mousse. Mean? Yeah, exactly. You know, something real light. And the then, foamy ones. Exactly. I have one. I have one. In fact, if I think about it, I'll bring it out the next time you can try it. I really like it. It's not heavy. Yeah. So that when you finish, it doesn't feel gummy. Yeah. I think when I turn him around, he's going to like this. Looks nice. No, this I think out. mom's going to like it, too. That's very important. Then when it grows out, it'll be more textured this time. Yeah. Even texture though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not that choppy like. Yeah, yeah. choppy. This one's good. Yeah, some going out here. Some going out here. It'll just be a little bit shorter on the top than I'm used to for now. Mm -hmm. But it'll grow back out. Oh, it does fast. Because your hair, your kids' hair grows fast. That means you're eating well. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're still wearing those shoes. They still fit me. Because they're suede, so they stretch out. Yeah. But well, when you were washed them that time, you thought you weren't going to be able to wear them. Well, for a week straight, I just, I wore triple sock. They were very tight and uncomfortable, so it stretched out the shoes so I could ah. wear it for a couple more months. So what, why, do you like these shoes? Is that what it is? Or? No. I like them, but I just, I don't like to wear my nice shoes every day. Oh yeah, I got you. Oh yeah. Because occasionally I buy nice shoes and they're expensive, so. Especially now that he's working. But once he starts driving, he's going to find his money going towards that. No. Shoes and animals will be priority. Yes. Well, I can guarantee you gas money is going to be a priority. Well, I won't drive as much as Johnny and Mom. There's no need. Yeah, but your mom doesn't use as much gas now that she's moved out to the west side. True. His, his mom used to work, manage the Walgreens at San Mateo and McGovern. So she had to come in every day and back every day. Oh, wow. So then they moved her. She's now the manager at... Uh, 528 and well you know in southern so her gas has gone down amazingly <laughs> she said she didn't realize how much she was spending the gas until she you know and now she's five minutes from home instead of you know 45 minutes to an hour much better temperature and as 